I'm Samtomo Hanjekwa. I'm a gynecologist from Zambia, that is Central Africa. I learned about um, make fertility program through the Ministry of Health for my country. Yeah, I was nominated to come for this program and I was very excited since I always had a dream to do fertility medicine. Yeah, but at that time it looked like the, this dream would never come true. Yeah. So I'm very happy to be here. It's a very wonderful opportunity for me. In my country before the Make Foundation fertility program came in, we didn't have any fertility specialist. Yeah. Of course, we have a number of uh, obstetrician gynecologists, but we are not well versed in the field of uh, um, assisted reproductive techniques. Yeah. So you can imagine what our women have been going through. Yeah. We've been doing uh, primary health care where we're able to handle simple cases. Cases where, like, uh, for instance, uh, where we have infertility due to um, uh, an ovulation or an uh, explained inf infertility were able to do minimal stimulation, but usually the success rate was very low. Yeah. Then, um, you know, these uh, ch challenges of fertility, they are quite rare, especially with women. In our society, it's mostly a male-dominated society, just now that things are changing a bit. So whenever there's a case of infertility in a couple, usually the blame is on the woman. Yeah. Society looks at the woman to be at fault, but it can also be a man at fault. And this has got a lot of negative uh, impact on the woman. Psychologically, the woman feels incomplete. Yeah. They, um, they, they are tortured psychologically by the husband, sometimes even the extended family. Then um, the husband sometimes can even bring in a second or a third wife, just trying to have a child. Sometimes there could be issues of infertility. And that is not good because it has, sometimes can even bring in uh, issues of sexually transmitted uh, infection. Yeah. And I must mention that uh, so far, there is uh, just one fertility clinic in my country, that's in the capital city. It's, it's private and it's very expensive. So it's only for the elite, yeah. So you can imagine the common man, common women, they can't afford, it's way beyond. So once I do this program, I'm working in a government institution. It means our women will be able to access care, yeah, cheaper care through government facilities. Yeah. So. I'm very happy so far with the training that I've received. Though I'm a bit worried, yeah, looking at the, when I go back, there'll be some challenges that I'm going to face, the issues of infrastructure, issues of equipment, issues of uh, the same fertility drugs, because they're quite expensive. Yeah. So I just hope that uh, my government will prioritize the, will prioritize the um, building of infrastructure for fertility clinics, and also the procurement of uh, equipment as well as uh, ensure that there will be a constant supply of uh, fertility drugs. I should mention that uh, in the past, I think fertility issues were a bit neglected, but now the situation is different. Yeah, it's one of the priority issues now. It's a big uh, public health concern. You can imagine that uh, even our first lady now is involved, yeah, because even this link to make, it came through our first lady. Yeah. So it's a serious issue and the government is really prioritizing it. At the moment in my country, apart from um, the same uh, obstetric and gynecology that we do, we don't have a sub-specialty for fertility training. Yeah. So with the coming up of MEG, this is the first time when you're going to have a super specialist in uh, the field of fertility medicine. Yeah, I must mention that I've gained a lot of insight in the field of uh, fertility medicine. Yeah. I've learned um, how to do even transvaginal scans. I'm very happy to have, been, to have come to this institution. As you can see, we have uh, a number of scans. Uh, we, we have uh, simulators here. This is a simulator for ovum pickup. So they have really helped, these uh, simulators have really helped. We are doing uh, vaginal scans. We can do simulator, we can do ovum pickup. We are also able to do um, hysteroscopy. And through hysteroscopy, we're able to even to diagnose uh, any pathologies in the uterus and also to treat them. I'm happy to be uh, here at Indira uh, IVF Hospital. Yeah, this uh, institution is receiving foreign uh, students for the first time, but they've been quite accommodative. Yeah, they've really made us settle down quite well. Then the beauty about this place is that they've got uh, uh, simulators. Yeah, 
with simulators where we're able to train on how to do a transvaginal scans, which is very important. It has given us the basics. So that even when we went in to do on real patients, it was uh, quite straightforward. Yeah. Yeah, there are also other scans, like uh, the scan which is here. This is a scan where we've been learning how to do oocyte uh, pickup. We have other scans that we, where we have learned to do hysteroscopy. Through hysteroscopy, we're able to identify pathologies in the uterus and uh, treat them. Yeah. So this uh, place is quite unique because uh, I've been in touch with colleagues in other institutions, they don't have such a facility. Yeah, so this place for me stands out, which is uh, very, very, very good. So for me, this has been a, a lifetime opportunity to come and learn uh, reproductive techniques. Yeah. But just like I had mentioned, yeah, you've given me this skill. Yeah. Otherwise, we are so thankful and we are hoping uh, even the other colleagues uh, will benefit in future. I'm very thankful to Make Foundation for giving us uh, this opportunity. Uh, what they've given to us, uh, the knowledge, the skills will go a long way in helping our people. It will bring equity of access. Our poor women will be able to access asset productive technique services at uh, cheaper or even free, uh, at a free cost. Yeah. So we, we, and I hope that this program will continue. It won't just end with us, but other colleagues can also come and have uh, this kind of experience that uh, we've had here. Otherwise, uh, it's been very beneficial. It will go a long way to help our people back home.